So in this one, what I'm going to do is quickly show you how to set up objects in the scene and use them to reveal other objects. So we're going to use Boolean modifiers basically, and that will allow us to subtract and animate an object as it influences the visibility of a second object. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is come over to the layer tab and just switch off the visibility of the doors and windows. What you want to do first really is add material to your individual floors. There is material on it, but it's all just a diffuse color. What I'd recommend is just find image textures that are going to work for your whatever type of floor you're going to do and just add that material. So what I'm going to do is combine these together. So if I shift select all of these, I can press control J and that's now one object. We don't have to worry about them because they don't actually have any modifiers on them. The only thing to worry about with these really are how much geometry. Okay, so it can, if I press Z, bring up wireframe, there's quite a few faces on these. You have to be kind of careful. It can end up slowing down the computer. I'm just going to shift select this one and join it. So the next thing to do then, I'm just going to come back to solid, is to add an object to reveal this. So if I press 7, I'm going to press Z, bring up wireframe. It's going to right click the cursor roughly in center. Shift A, I'm going to add a cube. And if I scale this up, so it, so it's wide enough on the on the Y, and just drag it down slightly, scale it on the X, and just to be larger than our floor object. I can press one, okay, and for some reason, if I zoom out, we're way down here, so I can drag this up to our floor, just drag it up below it, and tab into edit mode. I'm gonna press A to deselect, I'm gonna press B, box select, and drag this face down here. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to object mode, apply the scale, I'm gonna press Control Alt, Shift C, and just set the origin to geometry. The other thing I want to do with this object is come over to the object data button here and change this from textured to wire. And that way, if I press Z and bring up solid, you can see we can see through this object. Now, the only thing is this object will render, so it'll render as a dark cube. So if you come over to maybe, maybe layer 10, I can rename this to do not render and I can move that object to that layer and I can also just switch it back on for the moment. Now, if I come up to the outliner, I'm gonna press the period key to bring it into view and just rename this to maybe a ground floor reveal, press enter. And again, I can press the period key and you can see it's up top there. So if I select our floor, I can come over to the modifiers tab, click add modifier, click Boolean. I'm going to change this to a difference and in the object I'm just going to select our ground floor reveal. So if I select our object I'm going to change the editor down here to a timeline. So if I come back to the beginning here I can put a keyframe in for this object at this position. So press I choose location. I'm actually going to press zero come into the camera. Now obviously you'd have planned out your animation what kind of length you want. I'm going to reveal this floor within two seconds. So if I come to 48 on the timeline, I can drag my ground floor reveal to the right here, just so it's beyond the floor. And on 48, I can press I again and choose location. So now if I come back to the start and play this, you can see it slowly reveals our floor. Okay, so snap that back there. The next thing I want to do is make a copy of this and maybe re reveal the walls. So with this selected, I'm going to press Shift D, just right click. I'm going to come to the second keyframe and just remove the animation. So Alt I, delete that keyframe. And if we come back to the beginning, with that still selected, I'm going to rename this to a ground floor walls reveal. And what I would say is be descriptive with these names because you'll end up with lots of them in the scene. And it's a lot easier to, to understand what they are if they're well named. Okay, so with that, what I'm going to do is switch back on our ground floor walls. I'm going to tab into edit mode with this selected and just drag this up so it's the height of our walls, just above the height of our walls I should say. So if I come back to object mode, I'm going to press 1 and just come back around here and zoom in. What I need to do is scale it up a little bit more on the X just to make sure it's wide enough. Okay, so just center it up there. Press 7 and scale this up on the Y a little bit. Okay, so Control A again. I'm just going to apply that scale. I'm going to press press one, and I'm going to select our wall object. Come over to the modifiers tab, add a boolean, switch it to difference, and again I'm going to select a ground floor walls reveal. So if I select this object, 
I'm going to come to 48. I'm going to press I and location. So maybe another two seconds. So 96, I'm going to right click. I'm going to drag this up and just maybe set it up top there. Press I and location. And if I go back to the start and I press play. Okay, the floor reveals in two seconds. And then the, so I'm just going to go back there again. Just come around in the 3D view there so you can see this a little bit better. going to pause that come back to the beginning so the next thing i'd like to do is reveal these staircase so i'm going to select this object again shift d let's right click again i'm going to come to the last keyframe and alt i to remove it select delete keyframe and i can come to the, this one here so i'm going to press 7 and press z to bring up wireframe i'm just going to center this over the stairs there first press s and x s and x again scale this down Maybe scale this down now in the Y. I can drag this back a little bit and scale it in the Y again. So S and Y. I'm also going to press 1 and just tab into edit mode. And again, drag this up so it covers the entire stair case. Tab back to object mode. Control A and just apply that scale again. So for this again, I'm just going to press I just to reestablish that location. I'm sure it's fine. So if we move on to 96, we have... The first floor revealed what we can do then for this one is again press i and insert a location so this time if i come down to the current frame and type in 144 press enter i can drag this up above the stairs press i insert a location so if i come over and switch on the ground floor doors and ground floor windows it's going to press z come back to solid and just come around here and i can select these windows first off maybe add another boolean modifier to these again switch this to difference select the object as the ground floor walls reveal select these guys here and add exactly the same type of boolean the difference and the the wall reveal okay i can do the same thing for the doors then add a boolean set that to difference and set it to the ground floor walls reveal so now if we Come back to the beginning. Okay, we have a little bit of an issue with the stairs. So if I select this object, we can see that I'm going to rename this to ground A stairs reveal. Press enter. If I select the stairs, I need to add a boolean modifier to it. Difference A stairs reveal. So if I come back to the beginning, I'm going to remove that keyframe, which has a location over here. So alt I press delete keyframe so now if we come back to the beginning and i press alt a to play okay that's not looking too bad i'm just going to press z and bring up material and we can maybe start this again and alt a to give this a quick play Okay, and that looks pretty good. And it looks very good when you do a render on this. It takes a little bit of setting up to get this right, but that is the technique I've used to create my animation. Okay, so I've done exactly the same thing as, as you see here. It's as simple as adding boxes and just make sure that you do not have these switched on when you're rendering. Okay, but for the moment, that's going to do it for this one.